hi beautiful people of the most high god all praises to the most high so um i did finish with the father the first fruits of the hundred and forty four thousand all the scriptures that he wants me to read onto you and what he's given me revelation of so here let's get into it and he also wants me to read when we get there the definition of virgin and gill all right first fruits 144,000 so doctrine and covenant 77 and 11 what are we to understand by sealing the 144,000 out of all the tribes of Israel 12,000 out of every tribe so we know in the book of revelations it talks about 12,000 from Judah 12,000 from Zebulon 12,000 from Issachar you know the 12 tribes of the children of Israel we are to understand that those who are sealed are high priests. All right? I want you to remember that because the video that comes up next is talking about God's high priests and that not everybody is his high priests or chosen of his generation. All right? So we are to understand that those who are sealed are high priests ordained unto holy order of God to administer the everlasting gospel. So that is what the whole 144,000 are. They're high priests ordained unto the holy order of God to administer the everlasting gospel, the truth. That's why it says no gill was found in their mouth and their virgins. We're going to explain all of this, what God wants you to understand. Because you got people speaking out of their own heart when they're not fasting, they're not praying, and they're not getting the revelation of God on what his word means. Ask questions so you can get answers all right for they are ordained out of every nation kindred tongue and people by the angels to whom is given power over the nations of the earth to bring as many as will come to the church of the firstborn all right revelation 7 and 3 saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our god in their foreheads Revelation 7 and 4 to 5, right? And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed 144,000 out of all the tribes of Israel, the children of Israel. Now, the look, the first tribe it talks about, God said he's saving the tents of Judah first. The first that were sealed were the tribe of Judah. See, like it goes from Revelation 7 and 4 to Revelation 7 and 5. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Do you see that? Reuben is the firstborn of, of Jacob, Israel, whose name was changed to Israel. But God chose the tribe of Judah first. Because he's saving the tents of Judah first. They were sealed first. And if you look in previous videos that I made... Um, Christ rose up the, the 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 tribe of Judah, the children of Judah, the house of David first. So you you can look back in those scriptures. It's not in this. It's not going to be in this video. Revelations fourteen and one. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty four thousand, having his father's names in their forehead. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. Remember, there's going to be singing an everlasting joy on Mount Zion. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne, before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 144,000, which are redeemed from the earth. So only the 144,000, they are redeemed. They're caught up. When people saying rapture and Christ, Christ go, comes for the 144,000. That's why they follow him everywhere he goes. Because the 144,000 were not born on earth. They were born in Mount Zion. They're here on a mission. Now, Revelations 14 and 1. And what mission is that? To administer the everlasting gospel because they know God. They know God for real. They were born in Mount Zion. They were sent here. All right? These are which are not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb wheresoever he goes. These were redeemed from among men. 
being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. But you have to understand there's two definitions of virgin. One, being a person who has never had sexual intercourse. Two, a person who is that naive, that person who's innocent or inexperienced in a particular context. So they're innocent before God, all right? That is why they're redeemed. It's not talking about them being defiled. They weren't defiled with the whore of Babylon. Remember, talk, God talks in in pro, God talks in Proverbs. He, you have to get the revelation. And why did He say He would do that? So you could be snared, so you can go backward, so you can come to His repentance. All right. So another meaning is untouched, unspoiled, untainted, untarnished unadulterated, pure, pure before him. And in their mouth was found no guilt. What's guilt? No cunning, no craft, no art, no lies, no ploys, no deceit, de no fraud. They're not trying to fraud you out. These are they which that follow the lamb wheresoever he goes. These were redeemed among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the lamb. All right, and in their mouth was found no guilt, for they are without fault before the throne of God. That's why the meaning of virgin means innocent, the second meaning, right? They're what? No, sorry. Yeah, virgin means what? Innocent, inexperienced to a particular context. In their particular context, their their life on earth, God, God has no fault with them because what they had to suffer for him. Revelation 17 and 5. And upon her forehead, so they have the father's forehead in their hand, but the but upon her forehead was the name written mystery, Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. All right. And then say you have a whore's forehead, the whore of Babylon, the ways of Babylon. God tells you to come out of her, my people. Come out of spiritual Babylon. All right. Now come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Is the daughter of Babylon a virgin? So it, it should show you that it doesn't mean it's not talking about not someone who hasn't had sexual intercourse. Okay. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. So do you understand there's two definitions of virgin? Doctrine and Covenants 88 to 92 to 94. An angel shall fly through the midst of heaven, crying with a loud voice, sounding the trump of God, saying, Prepare ye, prepare ye, O inhabitants of the earth, for the judgment of our God is come. And, and lo, the bridegroom, bridegroom comes, go ye out to meet him, and immediately they shall appear, a great sign in heaven, and all people shall see it together. And another angel shall shall sound his trump. Remember in the Bible, in the King James Version, it talks about the first angel sounding its trumpet. A trump is a trumpet, saying that that great church, the mother of abominations. What's that great church, the mother of the abominations? The harlot, um, the great Babylon, the great, the mystery, the mother of harlots and the abominations of the earth. So it's talking about this when sound trumpets are sound. Prepare ye, prepare ye, O inhabitants of the earth, for the judgment of our God is come. Behold, lo, the bridegroom comes, go ye out to meet him. And immediately they shall appear a great sign in heaven, and all the people shall see it together. And another angel sound his trumpet, saying, That great church, the mother of abominations, that made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Remember her cup that she holds? Read Revelations chapter 18. That ex that persecutes the saints. That persecutes the saints of God. That sheds their blood. She who sits upon many waters. Who is this who sits upon many waters? Who's been sitting on the destinies of the people of God. And upon the islands of the sea. The queen in Great Britain. Behold, she is the tares of the earth. She is bound in bundles. Her bands are strong. No man could loose them except God. Therefore, she is ready to be burned. That's why it tells you in Revelation, burn her. Give her so much torment. Reward her double. And he shall sound his trumpet. 
both long and loud, and all nations shall hear it. Revelation 17 and 4. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet colored and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornications. Revelation 17 and 5. And upon her forehead was the name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. Now one nephew 14 and 10. And he said unto me, Behold, these are behold, there are saved two churches only. The one is the church of the Lamb of God, and the other is sorry, the other is the church of the devil. Wherefore whoso belongs not to the church of the Lamb of God belongs to that great church, that great church which is the mother of abominations, and she is the whore of all the earth. When I copied and pasted it put like other stuff. Doctrine and Covenants one thirty three and twelve. Let them therefore who are among the Gentiles flee unto Zion, and let them who be of Judah flee unto Jerusalem, unto the mountains of the Lord's house. Go ye out from among the nations, even from Babylon, from the midst of wickedness, which is spiritual Babylon. And there shall be silence in heaven for the space of half an hour, and immediately after that shall the curtain of heaven be unfolded, as a scroll is unfolded after it is rolled up, and the face of the Lord shall be unveiled. What? The face of the Lord shall be unveiled. And the saints that are upon the earth who are alive shall be quickened. Remember, Adam was made a quickened in spirit and be caught up to meet him. But that that's when they the saints are going to be caught up. Do you get that? And they who have slept in their graves shall come forth. For their graves shall be opened, and they also shall be caught up to meet him in the midst of the pillar of heaven. That is when the other, listen, they are a Christ, the first fruit, they who shall descend with him first. They who are on the earth and in their graves who are first caught up to meet him, and all this by the voice of the sound, sounding of the trumpet of the angel of God. And after this, another angel shall sound, which is the second trump. And then comes the redemption of those who are Christ at his coming. So do you understand the first fruits get caught up with Christ first, then the other people. And then comes the redemption of those who are Christ at his coming, who have received their part in the prison, in that prison, which is prepared for them, that they might receive the gospel and be judged according to men in the flesh.